गुड मॉर्निंग माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर संजय सरसमकर वर्किंग एज अ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटीज एंड साइंसेस वॉलचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट ऑर्गेनिक रिएक्शंस एंड सिंथेसिस ऑफ ड्रग मॉलिक्यूल्स पार्ट फर्स्ट लर्निंग आउटकम at the end of this session students will be able to explain the different types of organic reactions introduction organic reactions are chemical reactions involving organic compounds obviously there are two types of reactions one involving carbon called as organic reaction and the other other than carbon elements are involved such a reactions are known as inorganic reactions so we are interested only in this organic type of reactions the basic organic reactions are addition reactions elimination reactions substitution reactions rearrangement reactions photochemical reactions pericyclic reactions and redox reactions our today's content it is we are going to learn about addition reactions substitution reactions elimination reactions and rearrangement reactions so first addition reaction when two molecules combines to form one product molecule it is called as an addition reaction example addition of hydrochloric acid to ethylene molecule this ethylene molecule and hydrochloric acid react with each other and it gives us the product that is ethyl chloride how this reaction proceeds we know in case of this ethylene carbon carbon double bond is present that is unsaturation point is available this bond break opens and hydrochloric acid gets added up against the double bond to each carbon so pi bond opening gives site for addition of a hydrogen and chlorine from hydrochloric acid and that ends with the formation of ethyl chloride containing only one single bond this can be explained with the help of this schematic representation this is ethylene molecule this is hydrochloric acid which gives us ethyl chloride we can see this video downloaded from the youtube itself regarding addition reaction when an addition reaction happens a carbon carbon double bond or triple bond of an organic compound is broken the electrons shift to connect to hydrogen atoms halogens hydroxides or other compounds the connecting with hydrogen is called hydrogenation connecting with chlorine is chlorination and when it's fluorine that bonds with the organic compound we call it a fluorination reaction the number of double bonds in an organic compound can be calculated by the amount of gas consumed in addition reactions with hydrogen molecules these reactions require metal catalysts to break the covalent bonds between hydrogen atoms bromine molecules are dark reddish brown in color when participating in an addition reaction bromine is required to be dissolved in a nonpolar solvent like carbon tetrachloride as bromine is used up the color of the solution will fade this reaction has a higher chance of happening at room temperature than the previous hydrogenation reaction so it doesn't need a metal catalyst to boost the reaction speed and probability the reason to this is that a bromine atom has more electron shells which results in higher bond length and lower bond energy here's an example of an addition reaction the reactants are propene and hydrogen bromide in a solvent of alcohol Bromine has a much higher electronegativity than hydrogen. In other words, it really wants to take hydrogen's electron. So when hydrogen bumps into the unstable pi bond between the carbons and its focus is no longer fully on its own electron, bromine takes a chance and grabs hydrogen's electron and runs off. At the same time, hydrogen takes an electron from the pi bond and bonds with carbon. We see that now one carbon is missing an electron. It has a partial positive charge as a carbon cation. Bromine on the other hand has an extra electron forming a negatively charged bromine anion. When the carbon cation tries to get an electron back, it seizes an electron held by the bromine anion. 
thus bonding and creating 2-bromopropane. This process of breaking a pi bond is an addition reaction. Next reaction is substitution reaction. A reaction in which an attacking species that is a nucleophile, electrophile or free radical replaces another atom or group in the substrate is called as a substitution reaction. For example, chlorination of methane. When methane reacts with chlorine in presence of ultraviolet radiation, it gives methyl chloride and hydrochloric acid is also formed. This can be explained once again by means of this schematic presentation. This is ethane molecule, this is chlorine molecule. When they combine with each other, that forms ethyl chloride in presence of ultraviolet radiations. At this juncture, pause the video and answer the question. An organic reaction yielding only one product is A addition reaction, B elimination reaction, C substitution reaction and D rearrangement reaction. So the answer for this question that is an organic reaction yielding only one product is A that is addition type of reaction. Next reaction is elimination reaction. When molecule is split into fragment molecule, it is called as an elimination reaction. Example for this, it is ethyl chloride when refluxed with alcoholic potassium hydroxide, it gives ethylene molecule and hydrochloric acid. Again, this can be explained with the help of this presentation. This is ethyl chloride, potassium hydroxide and ethyl chloride reacts with each other and that forms ethylene molecule. Also, this forms potassium hydroxide and water molecule. Next type of reaction is a rearrangement reaction. A reaction in which either the carbon skeleton or the functional group or both are modified is known as rearrangement reaction. Example, isobutyl alcohol in presence of acid gives a tertiary butyl alcohol. So, rearrangement of species occurs, hydroxyl group it is transferred to the car this particular carbon and it forms COH bond over here and at the same time the carbon which is carrying hydrogen it is promoted to this particular carbon and it forms a CH3 group. Second example for this it is allyl phenyl ether and when it is heated at about 473 degree kelvins it gives allyl phenol. Same we can represent this by this particular diagrammatic presentation, isobutyl alcohol gets converted into tertiary butyl alcohol in presence of H plus ions that is acid. And this is for allyl phenyl ether, when it is heated, it gives allyl phenol. This rearrangement of a molecule, it is known as rearrangement type of reaction itself. References. For this particular presentation, I have used a textbook of organic chemistry by Morrison and Boyd and for YouTube video, this particular link. Thank you.